Hello everybody, welcome back to the Cook Easy. For today we're gonna make a beautiful baklava with the almond and walnut, my grandma's recipe. For the ingredients we're gonna need 100 grams of walnut, 100 grams of almond, 150 grams of brown sugar, one tablespoon of clove powder, one tablespoon of cinnamon powder, 50 ml of clarified butter, and for the syrup we're gonna need 200 grams of honey, 200 grams of water, one orange. For the garnish, we're gonna need edible flowers, almond, and nice and sweet. Let's start. How are we gonna start with a beautiful recipe? And it's always remind my grandmother and just do this amazing recipe. I have my almonds and walnuts is crushed. Then I will gonna put in the bowl my almonds, the walnuts, sugar, and my clove powder, I have made it already, and my cinnamon, pinch of cinnamon, amazing. Then, we mixing properly, a beautiful mixer, and look at this, what we have, it's already smells beautiful and we're gonna have the most amazing baklava this is the most beautiful recipe then how we're gonna do now is i will gonna take my phyllo pastry and i have it here beautiful i will open my phyllo pastry and we're gonna start with one by one. We have two of the phyllo pastry here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush it. Beautiful, with always brush with clarified butter. And we can use a little bit of the ghee butter if you have. They're in Greece, you know, they have a lot of ghee butter. And we're just flipping over that. And it's already looking very, very nice. Then we have everywhere now the butter. Then we go in here. And what we're gonna do in it is we're gonna brush again with our beautiful butter. Very, very nice. And we're gonna arrange everywhere. We're gonna put our mixer, our beautiful mixer we have here with the walnuts, cloves is smelling amazing. Very nice. And we're gonna start to rolling and brushing. Rolling and brushing. And the reason we brushing our baklava with the butter is all the filo has to be cooked properly. The time we're gonna have putting in the oven. And we keep going till the end. And we have this beautiful roll. Then we're gonna do exactly the same way in the next one and you can see my filo it's looking very very good. We're brushing everywhere with a beautiful butter. Very nice and we're doing exactly the same thing. Everywhere, has to be everywhere because the time we're gonna cook, you're gonna keep all the flavor of the walnuts. Then we're just turning and brushing, how I said previously, exactly in the same way. And we keep going. Now, just make sure the butter is enough. What is no need in the oven, it will gonna come out. Then don't be scared. It's very, very healthy. We're using for baklava and we keep going till the end to have our beautiful. As you can see, one is the bigger of the other one. One I flip it over, one I, I keep it open. This is depend about you, how you like it. I like that, I like this, it's beautiful, both of that. What we're doing is we're gonna brush a little bit to help to stick it properly and we're gonna start to press and press and press till the corners, as you can see the two corners here, what are we doing? 
It's like we're just pressing like a beautiful candy. And I will do exactly the same for the other one. Just brushing one more time. Then he's gonna help to stick. As I said previously, beautiful. Then we have two beautiful baklava. This is my baklava. It's a very traditional recipe, but in a different way how we're gonna serve it. And it's very easy to do at home. Then what we do, I take my beautiful pan, the tray, and I'm gonna put it in. Very nice. Look at that, guys. It's beautiful. It looks like amazing. And this is the baklava. How we're making it grease, the traditional recipe. But this is the way how actually I make the baklava in my home. And you can make a small, small baklavas. I have preheat my oven in 180 degrees already for 10 minutes. Then I will put for 15 minutes in 180 and it is going to be beautiful. Then for 15 minutes we're going to cook my baklava and let's go to start to making our beautiful syrup. What we're going to do? We're going to take the pan and in the pan we're going to add the honey the 200 we say already amazing we're gonna add the water beautiful and the orange for what i want you to do in the orange is i want you to put only a little bit of the skin just for the beautiful flavor just make sure when you remove the skin you don't remove the white part and let's go amazing then i will gonna cut my orange and i will gonna put a little bit also for it to just to thick properly and give all the flavor we like then i will gonna keep it here for till the time the next 10 minutes you're gonna take my baklava and when it's ready what i will gonna do is like i will gonna actually put the syrup in my beautiful baklava and we're gonna have amazing thing ready for you guys 12 minutes later i'm ready my beautiful baklava it's amazing my syrup is already thick enough as i want and let's go to see what we have done Wow, 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 wow. Look at this beautiful baklava I have made for today, for all of you. This is amazing recipe and I hope you really like it. And let's go, what we do? My syrup is boiled properly and just make sure your syrup is not very, very hot and is very hot the baklava or opposite side. We don't like both of these to be hot. And let's go to put a little bit of the syrup. As you can see, it's very hot, my baklava. It just came out for the oven. My syrup is medium far. Wow, no too much syrup. And it's ready. Then let's go to serve a beautiful baklava for today. And how we're gonna serve? I have my beautiful plate here. I will take my baklava, it's very, very hot. I'm gonna add in the plate. Amazing. Yes, the next one I will gonna plate later. And I will take my kernel from here, the almonds with the kernel, it just straight came from Greece. And my beautiful edible flour. Here, a little bit of my icing sugar on the top. Just a little bit, because we try to be healthy. Just for our beautiful decoration. Amazing, look at that guys. Look how beautiful this looks. And I have a little bit 
here for my mixer. Then I'm gonna add that and just the finishing with a beautiful slice of fresh orange. It will gonna be my beautiful plate ready. And look at these guys, look how beautiful this looks. Look what we have made for today. I have made this beautiful baklava for you. This is my recipe. I'm Chef Sparkles, we are here in the Cook Easy and you can make quick and easy recipes at your home in 10 minutes. Make this beautiful baklava. Do not forget to subscribe in my channel, write below your comments and I will gonna see you very soon is my next recipe. It's coming over. Kiss, big hug to all of you.